I'm evaluating some new push button contacts, and typically I don't get excited about doing side by side comparisons. And since they're sitting right here, here's an Allen Bradley PLC, here is a Siemens PLC. You'll never see me a video really comparing one to the other. But today, this is the only way I can think to do this is what I'm going to compare today is screw type push buttons versus push connects. So we've been evaluating some Snyder electric push buttons. In fact, this is one of the trainers that's in our training center now. And one of the key advantages, they have a push connect on it. So just like our terminal blocks right now, you can simply push into a terminal block and your connection is done. You can push into a push button and you're done. Now, Obviously, there is an increased cost for these push buttons. So we do have to think about that side of it. But there's an increased speed, obviously, in this too. Now, there's several speed increases in this. As a panel builder, our goal really is to get rid as, of as many screws as possible in our control panels. Because it's not okay to simply put a wire into here, twist it, give it a little twist, and say we're done. Every screw in your control panel has to be properly torqued. So I already have this screwdriver set up to properly torque these. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire this per our getting started guide. And then we're going to wire this one per our getting started guide. And we're going to see what, how much of a time saver this is. Now I'm going to do my best not to be biased here. I'm not going to be in a race to do it. I'm just going to try to casually wire this trader. So I have a stopwatch here, and I'm going to hit start and start wiring. Now, a lot of you are probably thinking, well, couldn't you just use a screw gun and do this faster? Screw guns are not an approved UL device. So we could use them to get us close, but you still have to take your manual torque screwdriver on every single one of them and torque it. So that was five minutes and 54 seconds to wire 10 contacts, which is 20 wires. Now I'm going to try it over here. All right, so I have my stopwatch reset and start. Okay. And on that one, I was three minutes and 47 seconds. So that's roughly 40% faster than a typical screw terminal. So that's a huge time savings. And I think uh, it wouldn't take long for us to see that there's, when you consider your labor rate, that probably pays for the push button. You know, a few other things on it. Now, I don't think I can say that that gets us out of having a calibrated screwdriver because one, if you're a UL panel shop, you're, <laughs> the UL guy's going to be like, hey, occasionally you do have a screw terminal. So we don't get past that, but because I do torque these so often, I knew the torque specs in my head. So we also didn't have to look up the torque specs. We didn't have a chance for a mistake. I think I think overall that this is... Not only a time saver, it's probably going to increase the quality of our panels. So let me know in the comments, have you used any of the Push Connect terminals? So, you know, we have the terminal blocks on our trainers. The uh, 5069 Compact Guard Logics, we use them on that. And even on these relays, we also use the Push Connect. So this kind of is a natural transition. We, we lean towards them here. Why wouldn't we lean towards them on the push buttons? Let me know what you think about them and whether you'd like to see them on our trainers.